Doll, would you? Mm, give me a teensy weensy little look. Oh, oh, oh! oh, Chuck, please help me. My poor leg is all scratched up. Oh, really, Miss Pruss? You and your crew have been following us around for three days now. You think we're running a petting zoo? Oh, but I'm, I'm so sorry, Chuck. Ah, be quiet. A bear's checking out the bait. Cup of cow juice, okay? It can be very risky indeed, as our news team found out last night. While taping our cover story on forest rangers, we were viciously attacked by a strange beast. Thanks to <laughs> the oh, oh, coffee! Oh, hot water! Shaken but unharmed. Later today, we hope to have a JBN One exclusive with Ranger Bob. Where is Jeff? <laughs> Up at the crack of dawn. Already airborne. Oh, give me a sponge. Uh, a big help. Oh, I want to hear this. So far, there have been no human victims reported. But having had a bird's eye view, well, I can assure you it's only a matter of time. This ferocious beast is like nothing I've ever seen. Some experts suggest you may be looking at the infamous Bigfoot. What I tell you? It's Bigfoot! Sure is! Who's this fella? Hmm. <laughs> oh, hi. Good to see you too, Shunka. <laughs> Eddie, thanks for coming, old friend. I should be thanking you. Trackers like me gone out of style. Hey, I know this creature means a lot to you. Obviously, at wit's end, local authorities have called in outside help to capture this ferocious beast. <laughs> Get out of my 
way. Max, you're a genius. Yesterday, the rudder was so sluggish, and today, she's handling like a real thoroughbred. Oh, man, does she go. It was just like being on... On safari? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Dan, I... I had to land, besides. It was just a dumb animal. Oh, really? There's quite a few here. This isn't a downtown mall, Jeff. We're in a nature reserve. Oh. Next time, you consider the animals. If you can't do that... <laughs> yes, sir. Dan, this is urgent. Chuck's on the video phone at HQ. Dan, no doubt you've heard the latest buzz on Bigfoot. To tell you the truth, I don't know what it is. We've got to get him before some Chief idiot Barnes, shoots him. Should this a good thing that he took that transmitter in the, the bank. What? Well, hey! Continue taping. Dan, I was hoping you could pick up the signals overhead and guide our search team. But real quiet, understand? He hears some big engine and he's going to be spooked. Huh? We'll prep the glider. That'll be quieter. Good. The transmitter in this fellow's belly is tuned to 1492. Ah! Huh. Chuck! You're on national news! Look, there's a mic! See it? Ah, this is too much. Everyone and their mother will turn up. Let's move it. One, four, nine, two. You got that? Yeah. Why do we want this Bigfoot? For his fur coat. His precious hide will make us a tidy fortune. Max, you and Emma will coordinate all communication from here between our crew and the Rangers. Tina, radio relay from the hydroplane. Jeff, Alex, and myself, low altitude scans. Excuse me, Dan. Can Jeff and I trade places? I'm dying to see this Bigfoot. Sorry, Tina, but none of us will get that chance. Our job's to pick up and transmit the signals. Max, glider ready? Hey, okay. Alex, you take the ISA plus. Jeff and I'll take the hang gliders. Be careful. This is treacherous terrain. Air currents can change as quickly as lightning. Now, if everyone's ready, pick up your receivers and let's go. Hey, pal. Why aren't you hanging out with Emma today? I'll start spreading the troops, over and out. Now listen up. Team One, you stick with Eddie and Helen. The rest, come with me. And the TV girl? Ah, I forgot about her. Shunker's allergic to strong perfume. No, oh, get the lead out. This story's a career maker, buddy. <laughs> Would you give me a hand? Well, Miss Bruce, since I can't get rid of you and I don't trust you alone, I guess there's no choice. Let's get going. Air Academy to Ranger Barnes. We're getting close. What's your current position? We're searching sectors M11 and L16. Roger that. No signal so far, but we'll keep you posted. That's right. You do that, girl. Alex, we're rigging up now. See you soon. All set to go. Delta-1 ready. 
Parachute, you keep an eye on our stuff, okay? Let's go. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Let's be careful now. Remember, the air currents are unpredictable. And don't dip too low. Bigfoot, let me see you just this once. Oh boy! I think I left my stomach back there. Nice one, but you be careful, Alex. There's turbulence here, and that won't be the last of it. My feet ache, and I'm fed up. I mean, it's ridiculous tramping through the woods. You're wondering and why I've come hair. back, right? All I know is you were head ranger before Chuck got the job. Chuck thinks I may be familiar with this creature. Next you'll be saying it's a Bigfoot. No, it's a spirit. Oh, really, Eddie? Come on. You're talking to a vet. I've seen it. For a spirit, it looked pretty solid. Yes, it assumes animal form, but it's a spirit of nature, whatever the name. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, or Wendigo. You believe those tales? When I was a teen, my real passion was racing my motorcycle along the back roads. The louder, the better. I ran out of gas one night, middle of nowhere. And there he was. It changed my life. I joined the forest rangers that fall. Hoping I'd run into Chietanka again, no doubt. Chietanka? Great brother. Grandmother called him that. Jeff, Alex, the wind's getting real gusty and there's practically no lift. Let's head back now. Hey, got an echo. From J-13, repeat, J-13. Dan, I'm practically over it. I can do a pass. Okay, but make it quick. We'll meet you at the helicopter. Alex, Tina, start heading back. Jeff and I'll help out Chuck. <laughs> Parachute? Chat calling Helen. We've got a confirmed sighting in J-13. We can cut him off. Roger, we'll meet at the pass. Ah, uh, come on, where are you, big guy? Must have sailed right by him. Dan, I'm checking the northern bluff. Negative, Jeff. Wind's up. We're losing light. Parachute! Jeff, what did I say? Flight's over. Mad static. Can't hear you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jeff, get out of there. Huh? Jeff, what's happening? Jeff, do you read me? Jeff! He... he crashed, Dan! Huh? <sighs> Could say I'm sorry about your little buddy, <laughs> but that'd be lying. The Barracudas. That's one for our side, Rupert. Appreciate you, Air Flunky, setting all this up. Buck, time for Operation Rockabye Ranger. Tina, did you see where Jeff went down? Near the bluff somewhere. Don't know if he's caught up in the trees or fell into the river. Emma, better tell Chuck what's happening. What should I do? You keep a lookout for Jeff's hang glider. Leave him to me.
like candy from a baby. Mm -hmm. Heads up, buddy. So you want to play for keeps, huh? Now, if you'll be so kind as to hold still, thank you. What's that? Two against one. That's really brave. You take out the girl, Buck. Leave the brat to me. Transmitters and a couple of bones, nothing much else. Bill? Bill? <laughs> Hydraulic feed line? Hmm, yep. But look, you understand it's not gonna be quite legit. As long as it's fast, we have got to find Jeff. Nothing along the river, Dan. One place we haven't tried, the bluffs in J-14. No, you two are through. Head home. I'll take care of this myself. You sent them back. But, Dan, it'll take us till dawn to search out two and a half square miles. They don't have the equipment. Mine's the only copter that has searchlights. Shunka, he can track Jeff's scent. Here, this belongs to Jeff. Do you think it'll work? Take a good whiff. Shunka, fine. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> 
Relax, Dad. We found Jeff. He's alive and well. Jeff, you okay? How you feeling? Fine. Jeff! Jeff! You actually saw Bigfoot close up. That's right. Miss Pruce. No, leave him be. He needs rest and... In your own words, will you describe the beast for the folks at home? Hmm? Sure, you got it. Like a grizzly. It could have been a Kodiak, though. What? I'm not sure. It was a big bear. Did I hear you right? It was mm -hmm. just a bear? No! Mm -hmm. oh, I sweated and slogged through the mud for a bear, and the mosquito bites looked. You will never forget this night. This whole brouhaha was just an enormous hoax. Guess the Rangers needed the publicity, Bob, and they got it. Ah, but they didn't get away with it. <laughs> Pauline, that was nice work. Oh, please, give me a break. I know Jeff saw that creature, but he won't say a word, even to Dan. Jeff's alive. That's all that matters. That's true, Emma. But the rest of it was kind of a bust. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Think of it as a lesson. One he'll always remember. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs>